try to take a moment um, and I pray, kind of seeking guidance from my father. He passed away when I was 16 in 2021. So uh, I just try to, to kind of take a second and ground myself and, and uh, tap into my uh, spiritual side and just know that everything's going to be okay and he's got the best seat in the house. What's up, world? Welcome back to Charge the Game podcast, man. And Audie Crooks, man, is a true man this is a true college story is man I'm, I'm super happy about this topic guys because i i just love the underdog man we're going to get into everything iowa state finest audi crook uh the way she's been performing in march madness uh i don't know if you guys have got a chance to see the clip but man this girl dropped a big four zero piece and uh it was something but before we talk about that i want to ask you guys to do me a huge favor let's hit that like button guys and also subscribe to the youtube channel all of the help that you guys do truly do help my video go a long way thank you guys so much for the love and support back to the video iowa state finest man audi crooks man is is you heard her in a in a post game presser this young lady man um i just have tears of joy for her you know what i'm saying like not everybody has their moment but staying ready you know what i'm saying and waiting on that moment like she did man and like she has done it's just truly rewarding you know what i'm saying i i i don't follow a lot of uh the march madness i have become a huge fan of march madness as of last year because honestly guys I, I wasn't really into it like that i truthfully uh did not get into march madness roughly to about a year or two years ago because the whole zion williamson i like when zion williamson um i felt like that was like the first time i actually got engaged with it but march madness man it literally you know it shines a light on all kinds of people but you every blue moon you'll get the situation where you'll see a player come out of nowhere and you know i haven't like i said guys maybe she's been doing this all season but the big 40 points in the midst of all of that competition all that physicality you know like watching this man is is truly rewarding and i don't know if you guys had a chance to just witness the way this young lady was balling out of control i'll pull up the video and we could just watch a few uh, as you guys can see, man, big body, of course, you know what I'm saying? She still has hustle. Uh, and if she's at a school playing on some type of scholarship, it just goes to speak volume that she did indeed deserve um, to be exactly in the spot she was in. And this is what I'm talking about. Just the hustle. You're, you're, you know, like we, we live in a day and time now where, uh, you know, everybody wants you to look a certain way. If you don't look like you take care of yourself, if you may be a little bit oversized, then a lot of people feel like that you cannot be dominant because you don't fit a certain criteria. But when you defy all the odds like this young lady is doing right now, man, it just makes you very cheerful, joyful, you know what I'm saying? And and proud and happy for another person, man. And that's exactly what she's been able to do. Then we look at the way the NBA is set up, man. We got, there's all kinds of shapes and sizes in the NBA. You can be as short as Isaiah Thomas. You can be as big as Joel Embiid, Zion Williamson. You know, so many like heavy looking guys in the NBA. And you know, this speaks volumes to, to just that, that dream. You know what I mean? Like if you were a kid and you had a dream, maybe you went through certain things in your life and you never gave up. You heard her speak about her dad and if she leans on her dad and, and gives it to god before every game then all you can do is go out there and put it on the floor like she did and uh man this is nothing short of amazing a, a person this size putting up these type of stats it just makes you man like anything is possible you know what i'm saying like kevin Garnett said anything is possible and this lady is a freshman you know what i'm saying this is a freshman so like i made the video earlier about it's up to the ladies in the you know women's college basketball to keep the momentum if she keeps this momentum guys if she can continue to play the way she's playing then her career is going to be in good hands man because you got to look at all the plus size athletes that possibly look at her for motivation that possibly you know what i'm saying like the whole lizzo situation we, we saw what a plus size woman can do in the music industry we see what plus size women are doing in modeling so why not cross over to the athletics and have a representative you know what i'm saying like obviously she seems to you know she she knows how to maneuver her mechanics pretty well so it looks like she's you know what I'm saying off to a great start so let's get into the report from apnnews.com where it says freshman audi crook scores 40 as number seven seed iowa state beats the 10th seed maryland in ncaa first round 
And as you guys know that this is a uh, March Madness, man, a whole month. Uh, it's pretty much nonstop competition. And uh, obviously it's the bracket style tournament. So it's the process of elimination. All the crooks grabbed the Iowa State nameplate and emphatically placed it on the big NCAA tournament bracket board into the space for the second round. She absolutely earned the chance to do so. I would have to say after a 40 point domination that she indeed uh, put Iowa State name on the map. I mean, they already pretty much had a decent program, but what she did, uh, t what she did last night, the day before, she definitely gave the team motivation. And any if anybody does not believe, they can certainly look at that young lady and, and now without a sense of doubt, go into the next round more confident, you know, more hopeful and just ride this momentum. And that's what I'm hoping happens. You know what I'm saying? Like may the best lady win and may the best man win in this whole competition, this whole March Madness tournament. You know, seeing stuff like this, you know what I'm saying? This is great for basketball. And this is from her. She said, that was so fun. My teammates soaked me in water. She says, still grinning from ear to ear. 30 minutes later, I'm just excited to be able to have another game with these girls, with this group. This is a special team and I just don't want it to end. And I want to go in, I'm going to go in and examine that. This is a special team and I just didn't want it to end. You guys heard in the, the open of the post game presser where she was talking about her dad. Man, ball is life for this young lady right now. You know what I'm saying? If you're a person out there, you lost a parent, maybe your grandmother or your uncle or your aunt or a brother or a sister, whoever raised you in some type of uh, parental garden uh, setup or setting. And if one person is missing that you heavily leaned on for support, you're going to look at your teammates as your new family. You know what I'm saying? So by by having that type of mentality, you're going to go out and play your best game every game. You're going to go out just to do it for your team because your team is your family. And if they're riding for you, you're just happy to have somebody that believes in you, man, that supports you, that can give you a shoulder to cry on during hard times. And that's the beauty of sports. That's why I say this is a true sports story. And, you know, hearing how she talks about her dad, man, it just... It just warmed my heart, man, and anybody, anybody out there can attest to that, man. Like, we all like to root for the underdog, and we all like to see people break through. You know what I'm saying? She has a humble mindset. Uh, obviously, she believes in uh, religion, and, you know, you're just happy to see that, man. So the whole, you know, the special team and not wanting that moment to end is because, man, maybe that's just all she has, man. And if that's all she has, it can bring out the beauty of her game and also allow her to be her true self. Goes on to say the freshman star scored a career high 40 points on 18 for 20 shooting in her sensational NCAA tournament debut. The number seven seed Iowa State hits all the big shots in the second half to rally from a 20 point deficit and beat the 10 seed Maryland 93 to 86 on Friday night. Now, I wanna tell you guys this. Okay guys, this type of play right here, the type of uh, competition, the type of physicality is exactly why women's college basketball is the epic basketball hub right now. I mean, like nothing is better than than this in my opinion, not NBA, not men's March Madness, because these women are really fighting beyond basketball. They're fighting for their right. They're fighting for their right to be represented amongst the great, to be compared against, you know, the, the top sports to, to for compensation, NIL deals, you know what I'm saying? The next level to reaching the WNBA and beyond that. And that's exactly what I like, because you see that hunger and not everybody will have the opportunity to have their moment. This may just have changed her life. You know what I'm saying? Her having this moment so early in her basketball career, uh, her being a freshman, who knows what NIL deals can come from this? Who knows what type of platform she'll get from this? Overall, I'm truly, truly happy for uh, all the crooks. Your thoughts, your concerns, you guys weigh in Iowa State. How are you guys liking the new freshman as she debuts with 40 points in, in the midst of March Madness? You guys weigh in with your thoughts, topics, and concerns and let me know like you often do. If you found any value from this content, I need you guys to do me a huge favor. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit that notification bell. Like always, let me know how you charge the game. Peace. <laughs>